Hello and welcome to another game. Um, this time playing with some friends of mine, Goddess Curl and Chet Cheddarson and Mercator. Um, in this pack, there's a couple of interesting cards. There, there's multiple ways to hold animals, so we'll have to look out for that. If, say, sheep flip in round one, uh, thing, Paleontologist is the main one. You can pretty easily sweep a sheep with it if Major Minor doesn't flip and sheep flip. Um, an animal renovator to a lesser extent can do somewhat the same thing, but I'm not looking to take either of those cards here. Um, cards I'm looking at are Soil Nutritionist, I think is strong. It just gives you clay for not a lot of work. Um, and then Stone Curator is the other card I'm considering. I think I like Stone Curator here. Um, I, I, I'm not sure whether it or Soil Nutritionist has higher power, but it's Stone Curator. Uh, it's just the type of card I like. You can play it late in the game. It ups your point ceiling. Um, so there's a few interesting cards in this pack. Scrounger definitely works well with Stone Curator because Stone Curator is interested in buying the guilds. Officer is a very strong card, and Drunkard is also a very strong card. Um, I don't believe there was any combo with the green space in my opening pack, but um, I've seen people have a lot of success with Drunkard. It is a powerful card. Um, one problem with taking Officer is it doesn't go great with Stone Curator in that... Um, Stone Curator, you generally want four rooms because the the points are rounded down for every two points, or so every two rooms in your stone house. Uh, so you want four rooms to be able to get two points off of that. Uh, and generally, with a card like Officer, you want a three-room stone house. But I think I will probably take Officer here, anyways. Hmm. Good friend is also a consideration, just gives you some building resources. Actually, um, I'll just take Scrounder, I'll just take the, the decent card. Um, given that we have two point cards with bonus symbols already, I'm very interested in Mastermind. Um, playing it in time for Stone Curator is obviously extremely easy, because you can just play Stone Curator at the end of the game, but um, playing it before Scrounger will be a little bit tricky, because you really want to get the four wood off of Scrounger. Um, if we take Mastermind, we could also maybe Wheel Trinket Collector, although that's not really a combo. Um... Crane Farmer kind of works with the Drunkard, so I'll have to keep that in mind going forward. Somebody might go for early Drunkard plus a bunch of planted fields. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to take Mastermind here. Restless Father, I think, is the strongest card just based on power. And Thatcher's Helper would be alright since we want to buy the Basket Makers with Scrounger and Stone Curator. Um, but yeah, I, I, I like Mastermind here. Um, so in this pack, obviously we could just take Hide Farmer for the Mastermind. Hide Farmer also goes okay with, um, Stone Curator, because Stone Curator, you want to focus on improvements and building rooms more than, like, fencing and plowing fields. Um... Bargain Hunter is a fine card, but uh, I, I think I'm just going to take Hide Farmer here. There's also an interesting combo with Permaculturist and the Grain Farmer card that can do interesting things, but I don't think that's particularly powerful, it's just kind of cool. 
also cards that I would like to wheel for my first pack. I don't remember specifically any bonus point cards. Um, yeah, the, the other card we were thinking about was Soil Nutritionist, but I'd be surprised if that wheeled. So, I, I don't remember any other cards, so I'll just have to wait and see what comes back. The Scrounger pack had, um... Had Drunkard, which probably won't come back. It had Officer, which won't come back, so somebody will probably be looking to do Stone House Strats. So, there's probably going to be a lot of competition for Reed Stone Food, because Reed Stone Food is very important for getting to Stone early. Um, so we'll, we'll probably have to take stone sort of aggressively in the middle of the game. Uh, okay. So, interesting cards came back. So, Animal Renovator and Paleontologist are similar. Animal Renovator is better for the, um, what's it called? It's better for the late game because... You, you can hold animals on it while Paleontologist doesn't do anything, and it also gives you an action in Renovation, but we're not really interested in that action because we want to play multiple Majors, so getting your Renovation and Major Improvement action is pretty important, so Animal Renovator isn't great. Um, paleontologist could be nice. Um, there's a lot of miners with bonus points for Mastermind that trigger off of animals like Loom, Milking Stool, uh, Open Gates, all of those work well with an early sheep sweep. Sunday Worker is a fine card, but with Hide Farmer, we're not super interested in extra plows. They're fine, but they're not uh, as good as they would normally be. And Obviously, if you can set it up to, like, play it and take six wood twice in round seven, it's incredible, but that's very situational, and I'd rather just take the card with um, the possibility to open up more combos when we get to the minor draft. Wow. So, both other cards I was considering taking came back. Um, Officer coming back makes me a bit sad I didn't take Animal Renovator, because we could certainly try to do some early stone strategies. Um, so, somebody probably took Seasonal Worker and they'll be hoping to get Schnapps the Stealer back. Uh, I'm trying to think. Drunkard, again, is a powerful card, but obviously there's no grain combos in the Ox. How many miners combo? There's, like, grain carts. There's uh, Corn Scoop. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Officer is just the better card for us. But I'm very surprised to see Drunkard go that late. And wow, Restless Father came back too. Um, so I, right now I have one, maybe two Ox I want to play early, so I could consider taking Clerk just as something to get out early. Uh, I guess I also want to play Mastermind early. I want to try to play it before Scrounger. So, um, I guess we don't really need this. Restless Father is a strong card. Um, it's not amazing with Officer because you're trying to go to Stone early and not grow as much. But, again, we probably want to build four rooms with Stone Curator. So, I think Restless Father is the pick here. Um, Sunflower Farm is obviously a very powerful card, but because we're not doing the Drunkard, uh, Grain Strats, I don't think it's super interesting for us. Stone Support is good with Stone Curator, um, because it costs stone, so you can, uh, it, it ups your points off Stone Curator. It's also good for trying to get 
to officer, and it's also good for, um, what's it called? It, it's good for Mastermind and Scrounger because we want to buy pottery. Another thing I didn't talk about with Mastermind and Scrounger is both of them encourage you to buy guilds, so we're definitely going to push for as many guilds as we can. Lamp Oil is interesting with Paleontologist because we can sheep the sweep, sweep the sheep, and then play Ox, and especially when we don't need to play Ox early, it should be pretty easy to get Lamp Oil up, but um, I'd be fine with Lamp Oil on the wheel, I'd be fine with Birthstone on the wheel, I'd be fine with Backyard Well on the wheel, uh, but I think I'm going to take Stone Support here. Hmm. So... Sawmill is good with Mastermind, but uh, it's not good with Stone Curator because he's, Sawmill doesn't have a Stone Pip, so you lose out on that. Uh, and I definitely don't want to rebuy the joinery this game, so like you could play Sawmill, buy, buy joinery and play Sawmill and then rebuy joinery, but um, that's definitely not something we're interested in. Price squash combos with Mastermind, but we're not interested in eating any veggies this game. Um, hmm. I, I don't know what to do here. Um, I, I think we can wheel Sawmill pretty easily, but I don't even know what we would take instead. I guess we could just take some price squash to play for a point, or foraging to play for a point, or even resale and, and wheel sawmill, but I'm just going to take sawmill to discourage others from maybe trying to buy the joinery, um, especially when we have scrounger. So in this pack, Somebody's going to do a lot of sweet day labor things. So we saw Wooden Bridge and we saw Shears. So both of those cards are, encourage you to day labor. We could play Grain Shrine just as a stone improvement that's worth points. So Wood, a Clay, and a Stone for two points. And it's two and a half points for us is fine. But I think Mountain Cave is easily the pick here. Uh, Gimlet's a strong card, but Mountain Cave, we really want to get tons of stone. Uh, so it does exactly what we want. And it also gives us a miner to play round one. If we get stuck going fourth, we can go three wood into start player mountain cave. Or really in any position. I, I wouldn't mind re upping starting player, or taking starting player if I'm in the second or third position to get reached on food just because we want to go on reached on food so many times. Um, so this pack, there's a lot of strong cards. Executive Boar is extremely powerful. Um, Bartering Shack would be fine. I don't think it's as good as Executive Boar, though. Extra effort is nice with what we're doing. We want to buy a lot of majors. Um, I think we want to focus more on guilds rather than the, um, the well, so I'm not as interested in Goblet. I th think I'm mainly considering Executive Boar and Extra Effort here. Um, I think I'll just take extra effort. No, I, Executive Boar is too strong. It, it's just so much stronger than extra ex effort. I, I gotta take the strongest card. Um... Wow, Shears Wield. Looks like somebody might not be doing the day labor strats with Seasonal Worker. That That's surprising to me. I, I know both Goddess Girl and Chet Chedrasen are fans of doing button strats like 
day labor strats or traveling player strats or take a grain strat, so I'm surprised that they're both just ignoring that. Um, so both birthstone and backyard well are fine. They both give us points. Birthstone, we're probably not going to use it to pay stone for points. Um, we, we could, but it's probably not worth it. We have much better things to be doing with our stone, but backyard well, um, again, we'd rather buy guilds. So I guess the thing to think about with backyard well is what our stone improvement count will look like. We'll have one in stone support. Um, we won't have joinery because we'll upgrade it to sawmill. So if we have pottery or BMW, um, then backyard well could be could be worth it for us. Um, another thing to consider is backyard well. Like one of the upsides of backyard well is you get a third point for the unused farmyard space. But given that we're playing hide farmer, we don't care about that that much. One second. Um, so, like, the, the unused farmyard space is just worth a food to us, but, oh, I, I didn't realize, uh, the wording on this card. I, I haven't played backyard well in a while, um, so it looks like you don't have to place the stone on the general, well, I, I assume we would want to, e even if it's only a food, it's still just free to take. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the birthstone, I think. It's more guaranteed. It's more flexible. If there's a ton of stone in this game somehow, we can always just pay the stone to birthstone and get points anyways. So the three food from Backyard Well is nice, but I don't think we need it. Um, so in this pack, foraging is fine, reed sale is fine, hand mill is not good, but uh, obviously stone curator makes you consider it, but I think if we want to take something for points, we would just take foraging instead, because handmail at best is worth half a point, and foraging is just worth a point on its own. Um, so it's between foraging and read sale for me here. I think I'm going to go with read sale. We have some things that require some food. Um... Like, we don't have incredible food right now. Obviously, we'll be wanting to buy the guilds, but that's hard to do early. Um, Reed Sale can kind of help bail you out of the first family grow time for in time for the second harvest. So, like, a lot of the time, as I've said before, there can be pressure on this harvest and getting the family grow in, especially if family grow comes late. So, Reed Sale can kind of save you there. Yeah, just nobody's going for the um, day labor strategies. Surprising. Somebody could have had a good day labor game. Um, but Kimlet's definitely the best card here. We're not doing the day labor strategies, so we're not interested in Wooden Bridge at all. Um, gardening tools, I have never played with. Um, it could be interesting, but it's not good for us at all in this game, so... Gimlet's the easy pick. Um, so we're going last, which is unfortunate. Three wood is fine for us, but... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll probably start Player Mountain Cave. Into Reedstone Food. Um, so Goddess Girl is the one playing Soil Nutritionist. Gonna get a bunch of clay, so she'll probably try to compete with us for pottery. Um, 
Or she might just be doing crops. Um, who knows? Uh, so we one thing to note is I talked earlier about how Officer would put pressure on Reedstone food, but then we got it back, so um, there might not be as much pressure. Um, it's probably less likely for people to take start player just for Reedstone food, so um, our start player Mountain Cave into Reedstone food, we might be able to keep start player for a little bit. Um, obviously, we take three wood here. Hut Builder from Mercator, a classic, very good card. Just gives you a free room. This would have been a card we were would have been extremely interested in with Stone Curator, but uh, it's not great with Officer, obviously. But um, yeah, we would have been happy to have it. Probably a first pick. Have to assume Goddess Girl is plowing a field here. No, taking two wood. Very interesting. I think if you first action soil nutrition is plowing a field, just has to be the best action for you on the rebound. But maybe she's trying to set up more combo pieces. Um, maybe something like native. Um, Yeah, something else that triggers on plow before she plows, but who knows. Um, easy start player mountain cave for me. I might have put my peep on the wrong thing there, but I definitely intended to take starting player. Um, um, so yeah, we should wheel a great action, given that we're going first in round two, and nobody played anything like wheelbarrow pusher that would stop the read spot. So, um, well, seasonal worker from God's Call. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that she didn't do any of the day labor, day labor things. I guess she just wheeled the shares, which is fine for her. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're doing day labor things, the bridge is great. Being able to get a read every time. Oh, it, yeah, it bridges, um... Maybe bridge is fishing, actually, because fishing and read are the ones that are next to each other. I could have sworn it was day labor, though. Um, yeah, maybe I'm just dumb, and it's not a day labor card. Um, but assuming it is, I think three would in a point to get a read every time you day labor um, is strong. Looks like Chet might be doing some kind of... Uh, alms game. Prudent Merchant for Mercator. Interesting to play this early. Mercator might be going for some kind of uh, like animal pen or something that requires a lot of ox. Um, we'll just take two reads. Sets us up nice to for buying basket makers. Um, yeah, given the mountain cave, we honestly would be fine not getting reedstone food. We, we don't need reedstone food as bad anymore now that we have the mountain cave. The mountain cave can kind of give us a good amount of stone, but uh, I, I still will take it pretty much every single time it comes to me, I think. Um, it's just the most powerful action in stage one, and it fits perfectly with our strategy, given we are going to be buying uh, basket makers almost for sure this game. Um... 
what we can use all the reed. We can definitely use all the stone with how many majors we're buying between Stone Curator, Scrounger, and Mastermind. Um, I guess we did Pass Goblet, which encourages other people to take Reedstone food. That might be what Chet Cheddarson's going for. Um, so he, he might be start playing Goblet into Reedstone food here, which that, that was one problem of passing Goblet. I forget what we took over it. Um, I think it was a powerful card. Um, it might have been, oh, never mind, Lumber. So the complete opposite. Um, given he needs a read, he'll still probably take Reedstone food. And given that he's not particularly interested in occupations, it looks like. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. We, we do need to start playing Ox, so. Oh, no, Ch Ch Cheddarson might be going for some kind of fencing strat. Um, Lamp Oil didn't wheel, um, so he, he might be going for fencing into taking sheep and Lamp Oil, so we could screw with his plans pretty significantly if we wanted to Paleontologist. Um, it, it's possible he has something like Cat Lover or Benefactor as well. Um, yeah, so the Reedstone food makes sense because it sets him up for Lumber. And it's just a good action. And then he took three wood when it came to him. Um, we'll have to see whether he takes wood again or just reads down food or occupation. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure when we're going to try to time this scrounger. I guess the best time would actually be two stone. So we want to wait until there are three rounds left to play. I think two stone might be better for four, than four wood for us. And the fact that we'll have time to get up masterminds makes it nice. Um, so interesting. Uh, major minor flipped. So I'll oh, work out like there we go. Yeah. Um, so if we wanted, we could really screw with his game by taking, um, by playing Paleontologist here. But if Reedstone Food comes to us, we'll definitely play that. Um, it did not. So how exactly does this card read? Two animals for every harvest remaining. So, yeah, I mean... Four clay is very interesting for us. <laughs> we could take wood and set up to build a room as well. Um, we need food before the harvest. Yeah, I don't think I care enough to play Paleontologist. Um, the one thing it does is it sets us up for Executive Four later in the game. Um, like, we could take a pair of boars and start breeding them, but that, I, I should explain. The reason I'm not really looking to do the Paleontologist stuff is it basically requires that we build a fireplace or cooking at hearth at some point because we we have nothing else to do with the animals um and we're not gonna fence early enough i don't think or big enough that we want to just hold the pairs of animals um and let them breed forever for points because we're probably gonna fence 12 tight with hide farmer so yeah i mean i could be very rude and try to block the the sheep grab, but um, no, I'll, I'll just take the clay. Set up for pottery. Take three wood, second action, assuming it comes to me. Um, Goddess Girl needs food because she, she hasn't. Um, she hasn't day labored at all yet. Um, Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I forgot we have Gimlet. Um, so we can also consider playing Gimlet at some point um, before we build rooms. That's another thing that Taking Place sets up for us, so that's good. Um, yeah, I will... If, if Three Wood doesn't come back to us, I think I'll play three, Take Three Food. Um, think Chet... Just buying the fireplace, I guess, to protect his sheep. Um, yeah, I guess he was worried about Mercator taking starting player and me buying the cooking hearth. But I th think um, just... Sorry. Did he pay his clay? Oh, it looks like Mercator is taking starting player. Maybe into redstone food, so... Um, I guess Chet made the right choice. Um, so, here I'm going to take three wood for sure. Hopefully we get restone food. If not, we'll take four food. Uh, actually, no, I, I would take four wood over restone food. Or, over four food. Um, it, it sets us up for the... For possibly double building or just building stables um, with Gimla, as well as turning wood into a mountain cave. We just want a ton of wood. Um, and we can wheel a four food, I think. Goddess Girl almost certainly has to day labor here. Yep. Um, As always, feel free to say hi in the chat. Okay, so Mercator takes Reedstone food. Uh, Goddess Girl isn't taking four food, and Chet's not taking four food, so we always wheel a four food here. So, easy four wood. Goddess Girl will probably take two read, I would guess, to set up for a build, yeah. Um, hopefully Jet takes three wood, because that would put us in best position for room. Um, but, who knows, he might just fence six here. But I think he'd be safe to take three wood in here, and then fence second action and take four sheep in round five, or even try to float to five sheep for the workaholic payoff immediately. Um, I think Mercator might be the one with the goblet. It certainly looks that way. Um, he's taking redstone food every time it's come to him, I believe. And he star played for it last round. Alright, great for us. Chet takes the wood, so... We're definitely set up to build first room if we want to. Um, I'm gonna snap off a of four food here. Obviously, it's, we we need a food. Um, yeah, so it would be nice. Wow. Mercator buying basket makers. That's annoying. So he's prudent merchanting, but that that's very surprising. Um, I guess we should take um, traveling players, magician was in the game, but it's not gonna matter. So, 
So we turn a stone into a wood. Goddess girl, probably day laboring, you know. Um, so we will probably just build a room first action, even though we won't be able to get Gimlet up. Um, maybe play Restless Father a second action. Um, if Family Grow flips, I guess we just give up on Restless Farmer. playing occupation wow visionary i'm very surprised that this is how he chose to play this um i would have think he would have wanted defense six and then played the visionary so he could get the boris breeding but um yeah i mean obviously this is fine so chet can now fence next round and take four sheep and he'll still trigger visionary um oh i guess he has to cook either a boar or a veggie to feed anyways because playing the visionary costs him a food but um all right wow mercator first actioning greedstone food um so mercator almost certainly has the goblets we will just build a room Yeah, hopefully Mercator doesn't go for any more of the guilds. Hopefully he's just trying to buy the well. But, man. Goddess Girls start playing just to build a room. Doesn't make a ton of sense. Um... So here, here Goddess Girl could just take the three wood, and then Mercator would never be able to build a room next round in front of her. So taking starting player really doesn't accomplish anything. It's annoying for me, obviously, but um, yeah, it doesn't actually do a ton. So um, I'll probably play Restless, Restless Father here. Um, try to get the fields going. Um, I might take five clay if it comes to me just to try to protect pottery and set up for a renovation. I guess we also want to build another room so five clay can build towards that. Yeah, another no annoying thing going on here is um, if Goddess Girl hadn't taken starting player here, we could have first actioned not family grown next round. Um, because she wouldn't have a room yet. So, um, yeah, this isn't great for us. It's possible she's just setting up for, like, Reedstone food so she can build an oven because she does need grain. Um, yep, Chet fencing. Yeah, so uh, it, he has to uh, fence right now because if somebody like me, for example, built a cooking improvement here, he would have to take the sheep before fencing, um, and then he couldn't trigger his workaholic. Um, so he hasn't put the resources on the board. I guess it's not super necessary. Oh, wow. Well. Mercator not building so interesting that he's just doing this and doesn't even have goblet i'm very very surprised i want to i'm interested to see what mercator has here maybe he has a well upgrade but i have to imagine with a well upgrade you would 
make sure to play the goblet and you would prudent merchant the well so you could buy the well again um so yeah who knows um if i don't take three wood here goddess girl will be able to um get six wood next round but i think i'm fine with that honestly because then she's never going to build a room first action um so yeah she'll, she'll make sure to take six wood over building a room first action since nobody else can build so here i either want her to take five clay or five food um i don't think i need to play restless father because i can just play it first action next turn if i want to and i can just choose not to play it as well uh five clay is so much clay We, we can cover our harvest with reed sale. Yeah, I mean, five clay sets us up for pottery, and it also... Um, It also sets us up for a second room build, so um, we're, we're pretty close to building another room in clay right now in terms of resources. We, we would obviously need more reed, um, but just being able to, if, say, we get like a three reed grab is very nice. Hopefully Family Girl flips in round six. Um, flips in round seven we're gonna be in trouble this game because i'll we'll have to re-up starting player wow goddess girl taking clay that's or plowing and taking clay that's confusing to me because it makes taking clay off of building materials seem very loose um wood is like if you just compare in general in agricola wood is almost always better than clay um so the fact that she took clay off of building materials made me think that she was going towards something specific like an oven um so it's possible she still is but i, I can't think of anything that requires five clay specifically um Maybe a renovation and something. Or maybe she's just like trying to build towards clay rooms as well. So I, I really don't know. Um, so Chet's going to be set up to build a room here. Um, we very, very much want Family Girl to flip. All right, awesome. Yep, Goddess Girl takes the six wood, and she can build with her second action. So, um, that's very good for her. I'm going to have to decide whether I want to play Restless Father. It's just such a good raid. It's three fields for nothing that I think I have to. But six food is very tempting. Six food basically covers this harvest and the next one on its own. Oh, I, I completely forgot about stone support. So stone support actually means um, that we are going to be able to reno pottery and uh, and build a room because we we don't need it. Now, now that the clay is gone, it's harder because we need to read stone food twice to get enough. Um, but yeah, this is fine. Mercator is going to take four wood, so Mercator... And Chet are now set up to build a room, so very good for us that we got this all out early. Um, six food or Restless Father. I think Restless Father is just too good to raid three fields for... Um, well, it's three fields if we family grow without room once, but I think we can definitely do that this game. We'll have time. Um, yeah, there's a lot of food in this game. 
between the Reed sale I'm going to play, the well and basket makers are already being bought, the seasonal worker, um, and this workaholic animal. It's obviously, Chet wants to breed his animals to go towards more workaholic, but yeah, I mean, I think we'll be fine. We also want to take Reed's on food a lot, which will cover some of our food issues. It, it's not a feeding strategy on its own, but it um, will definitely help. And there's a chance we just get seven food next round, which would be incredible. Um, Chet will probably start player to build in round, um, in round seven. If he doesn't, I assume Mercator will. So we, we should be going at the very least third, if not second. And Chet will be building first action. So there is a chance we get seven food. Um, yeah, Restless Father is just an excellent card. I mean, most cards that do stuff similar to this, allowing you to get fields, um, you have to pay a food for the field. So the fact that it just gives it to you for free is incredible. Um, looks like Chet takes the food. He really wants to be breeding his animals, I guess. But it's going to take him a while to turn on... Oh, I forgot about Visionary. Um, with Visionary, I'm actually surprised that Chet took two Reed over Reed Stone food. I would think you would want um, the Reed sources. What did Mercator do? Mercator took wood. That's wild that Mercator didn't... Oh, I, I guess Chet will probably just let Mercator build. Um... Because he can't grow anyways. That, that's what Mercator figures. So, yeah, I, I forgot all about Visionary. Um, we will play our stone support here, I think. Um, our ideal actions next round. Well, if 8 clay comes to us, we'll, we'll take it. But... Um, We'll probably read stone food and reno pottery and oh no I, I don't know how the breakpoints work here mm -hmm. because i want to play mastermind as well yeah i really would have liked that food but i can't blame anybody for taking six food that's a crazy amount of food I assume Goddess Girl will take the 8 clay here. It's just, but I, I don't know what she'll do with it, so maybe not. Uh, I didn't plow my field. First, I, oh, she needs to feed. Um, oh, so there, there's an oven in this game that, well, it's the future oven, so it puts it on future round spaces. I don't remember there being simple oven, but there might have been. Hmm. Yeah, Chet taking a clay into a huge pile of resources makes sense. We're definitely going to make sure to push for pottery. Um, if Reedstone Food comes here, I'll certainly take it. Mercator doesn't really need to build first action, but he might do it anyway. It's just to be safe. Hopefully he doesn't take Reedstone Food. Um, yeah, so I think there's a good chance that three wood floats here. So I think I'll start player Reed Sail into six wood if it works out that way. Um... So my other actions would be Mastermind and Breedstone Food. Um, and then I can second action in round 8 Pottery, Reno Pottery. Um, I guess Mercator's thinking about building a room, maybe. 
playing an Auk. Um, that's fine for us, because we only have one Auk. Both the Auk spaces are the same. Oh, wow. Come on. So, looks like we will not get Reedstone food, which is extremely annoying. Mercator just cutting it out. Um, so what do I want to do here? We're definitely gonna start player reach L now. What are, what are my other actions? Um, yeah, so I guess we can just take three food. Um, it's probably best. That's so much worse than Reedstone food for us, though. We're caretaking that here is really annoying. Um... Hopefully Chet doesn't start player here. I don't think he will, but it's possible. Yeah, I, Chet's going to have way too much clay to do anything with because we're getting pottery. Um, I also have um, the... What's it called coming? The mountain cave wood into stone so I can buy pottery pottery first action if somebody tries to threaten it. Bonus for Goddess Girl, so it's gonna look like, it, it looks like she's gonna be eating, um, raw eating to grain, which makes her day laborers look pretty awful, considering there were like four and five food fishing uh, even six at one point going around. Um, yeah, so she she like in, in round um, in round four she chose to day labor over take four food, which is fine in general. Like a grain is probably better than two food, but if you're riding a grain, it's definitely bad. So yeah, got a girl just struggling to feed. Ugh, Chet. Oh, no. What did Chet do? Chet took the wood. Mercator starting playing. Um, just to... This is the last turn time he can get Greenhouse out. So, that's fine. I guess I will reno... Um, reno the read sale out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm shocked that Chet didn't take Paleontologist with the animal strats he's doing. Paleontologist is kind of the perfect workaholic card. Um, so we play this, pay a food, and then we renovate... Oh, no, this doesn't work. No. Um. Yeah. I... So, I could major minor read sale. That seems pretty bad. But I do want the mastermind out kind of right away. Sure. Uh, yeah, this is ugly.
yeah, we, we should, three of food would have probably come back to us. Uh, I guess Goddess Girl would have hated it over Day Laboring, probably. Well, I, I guess Day Laboring gives her the veggies, so she might not have, but, um, yeah. So... Here we take Reedstone food. Definitely, definitely. Um, I'll take four wood if it comes back to us. Um, I'll probably take two reed if it comes back to us. Yeah, we absolutely want to make sure we get the clay to this game because uh, there's a complete excess of clay. Um, Jet actually might renovate before ever building just to um, just to save his wood and use his clay because he has nothing else to do with his clay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff we want this game. I, I definitely will renovate pottery second action if it comes back to me. Um, I don't know. T tons of things to think about. There's a lot to do this game. I feel like we're in very good position um, between the... Um, Between our, our first grow and our high, high, high point ceiling, I feel like we're in good position, but um, yeah, definitely tons of things we want to do. Luckily for us, Hide Farmer is going to cover a lot of our bases um, in terms of not plowing at all, and we can fence tight, um, so we don't have to super worry about like a lot of those kind of point actions, we can just focus on doing our plan of building a fourth room, building majors. Uh, Chet might have to start player here to guarantee his room build because I could threaten it between taking two read and renovation. Um, I guess if he renovates, I can't threaten it, but. Um, Goddess Girl also could threaten it with um, to read. I think Goddess Girl might take the to read, so I'll probably take it. Actually, it's pretty important for our game. I'm also curious what Chet took over the executive war, because executive war would have been perfect for this kind of game, where you can get a boar earlier with visionary. Um, it conflicts a bit with visionary, but even if you're not using it for the family grow, it's just so powerful. Um, you can get... Yeah, you can build six fences for four wood, so that would have been excellent for him. Um, Mercator by playing Animal Trap, that's why he went so hard for the well. Um, yeah, this two read I think is pretty important for us. Chet's starting player, so we, we don't need to worry about possibly jumping him, um, by renovating. It's fine to let him renovate here. It'll probably upgrade to a cooking hearth. Yeah, Goddess Girl's really struggling for feeding. She'll, she'll probably have to buy a cooking hearth either this round or next. Start eating vegetables. Um, surprised she didn't end up with, what's it called? Schnapps distiller. Um, oh, she could still have it. For some reason, I thought she already had a vegetable. 
when she day labored in round seven. And I was thinking she can play Schnapps Distiller instead, but she only had Grain at that point. Um, so starting next round, we can place Grounder. We have to, in order to get the two stone, we have to place Grounder in 9, 10, or 11. Um, we'll also, I, I guess I can leave this up here while I talk about it. We'll also have to think about getting a read at some point. So we're renovating for one read. Um, Chet taking resources. So now he's threatening pottery. So we'll definitely snap that off. Um, uh, oh, it's to me. Um, Um, get our mastermind in. Um, so we're not going to get six wood here. Mercator will obviously snap it off, unfortunately, but um, that's fine. We'll probably take three wood because we do need a lot of wood. Um, between Mountain Cave and everything else. Um, Oh, actually, I think we will take three stone. Three stone gives us a lot of options. Um, so a stone improvement count right now. We have pottery and stone support. And we... So that might be all we end up with because BMW and the well got bot. Um, yeah, there, there's nothing else we could do we, unless we buy an oven. Um, having the joinery won't be anything for us, so we probably won't rebuy it after playing Sawmill. Um, so, but we can also funnel stone into birthstone, so we will definitely take three stone first action. Um, assuming six wood doesn't come to us. Yeah, Chet's just going to have tons and tons of clay and not much to do with it. Um, I guess he can take Reed and build clay rooms. But, yeah, beyond that. Uh, so, yeah, he has 12 clay. So he even needs one more clay to build two clay rooms, which is very awkward for him. Um, right now... Mercator doesn't have any way, anything to do with the cow coming in. He has no way to cook it or no, and to know where to hold it. Um, here we obviously take three stone. Um, my ideal next actions would probably be... Um, I guess if Mercator takes a readstone food, we should start player. Um with Gimlet. I guess we want to start player with Gimlet anyways. And then I will buy the joinery with my other action. Yeah, I think it's likely we don't end up with many fences at all. Um, so... We, we can build two stables with Gimlet. Um, we definitely want to do that because a, a wood for a point, which is what the conversion is, is basically always a good conversion. Um, and it also opens us up to possibly... Oh, wow. Clay roof for Jet. Very excellent for him. Um, he has something to do with the clay now, so... He can't build another room yet, so we'd be safe to take a non-build action. Mm. 
with our uh, first peep next round, as long as Mercator doesn't take reached on food. Um, and even if Mercator takes reached on food, he might not want to build another wood room. I think he wants to fence soon for his incoming cow. I guess he could build a room in his stable to hold the second cow, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, here we build the joinery. Um, add another point to mastermind. Um, and then our third action will be start player with Gimlet. Oh no, that doesn't leave us enough food. We'll have to take three wood. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes the three wood. Yeah, I, I messed this up. I should have taken three wood there. I guess I can start player sawmill here. Into four wood. Yeah, so we might not end up playing Gimlet here. Um, yeah, with Mercator... Oh, Mercator's gonna eat a read, I assume. I, I think... I, I forgot Mercator has BMW. So, yeah, we, we should be pretty safe to... Um, what's it called? to take four wood and we'll build a room and then family grow. We'll family grow with birthstone um, and then probably pay the stone as well. For sure taking four wood here. Chet will probably reno first action so that he can build threaten build a room. Yeah, Mercator ate a read, so our, our build is safe. Yeah, between the cow and... Um, what's it called? The... Um, the BMW Mercator has... And the hot builder coming in, Mercator really doesn't need to build another room here. Chet will, I assume, reno for a session. He might buy joinery, but I, I don't think that'd be a good idea. There's not a ton of wood in this game. Um, he could buy a stone oven, I guess. Um, yeah, so it looks like Gimlet might not get used to this game. Probably not worth playing it anymore. The wood, I think, is more valuable. Now that way, we, we're not going to be able to do the stable conversion. Because we definitely want to build here. Um, so over the course of the game, we want to take Reedstone food twice more. Um, once just for... Because we want the resources. And then the second time, even though we won't need to read the renovate, we need it for a scrounger. 
Um, I also need to place Grandra next round for the stone. I need to remember that. Uh, backyard well from Chet. Nice. Something to spend a stone on. I think it's likely Mercator takes three wood and fences here to set up for his count. So, yeah, you, when you mark things like this, ox that put resources somewhere on your farm, you shouldn't use actual uh, things. Especially for an effect like Backyard Well, where it counts as used, you want to use four, because that in the game will count it as four. Um, yeah, so you can do this, but it's easier to just use four um, to count the spaces used, I think. Um, here we definitely build a room. Yeah, I forget. Uh, so you can also use three, um, but... Yeah, that, 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 I think, is normally the best. Um, yeah, so there's a ton of clay in this game, so I'm glad we have pottery. Um, but chat can take six clay here for sure and just build two rooms or five clay. Either one is completely fine for him. Um, Goddess Girl takes the six clay. Interesting... Um, I guess she might want to build a cooking hearth. Um, Chet taking the wood, which is fine for him, I think, because there's a, there's not a ton of wood in this game, and I don't think anybody's going to take this clay from him. He should be able to get it pretty easily. Um, I have to family grow. Goddess Girl doesn't really have a reason for that much more clay. Mercator needs clay at some point for the reno. But, um, yeah, it's not a high priority for him. Yep, Mercator fences for his incoming cow. No surprise there. Uh -oh. I do wish I had Animal Renovator um, over Paleontologist, but Paleontologist was a fine pick. We... we Picked it because we didn't know what miners were coming. If we got something like Loom, Paleontologist would have been better. Um, but yeah, in retrospect, Animal Renovator would have been a better pick for us. Um, here we Family Grow. We play Birthstone and pay a stone for it. Um, so we're going to have a very nice high point cap between Mastermind, um, Stone Curator, Scrounger. So um, Anti Farmer is going to kind of cover up the our, our bad situations. So I, I'm liking our position this game a lot. Um, yeah, so now we'll probably take 
Reedstone Food, Scrounger, and Renovate, maybe? Um, I don't know. So, we want to renovate, and if we renovate, we could possibly get up Officer, but we do need a ton of food. So, we have five food per harvest with our guilds, but nothing beyond that. So, I'll definitely take five food if it comes to us next round. Um, Goddess Girl also needs some kind of food action. She'll probably just day labor and grain. But, um, yeah, there, there is a good amount of pressure on food this game, so... Well, late Thatcher's helper from Mercator. Still fine, obviously, um, because between Chet will grow with room, Mercator will grow with room, and then there's the family grow without room. So it will be at least wood reed, wood reed, um, and it could be more than that. Um, so... What do I want to do here? So, we need one more food for the harvest. And then we also want to play ox. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take five food. Um, I think second action would be will be three food or redstone food. Gobs Girl is in good position in terms of farm, but I think she's just been too rough on feeding this game. She doesn't have any improvements worth point. She, she has a bonus, but like she doesn't have any points compared to our mine and Mercator's and even Chet's farm. Um, She'll probably take three reeds so she can reno and build a room, but she might have to reno cooking hearth. Um, Chet should probably take six clay so he can double build here. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so we could go Reedstone Food Scrounger or Renovate here, but yeah, then we wouldn't be able to get up Officer until around 13 anyways, so there's not a lot of reason to do that, like that aggressively. Um, if we had the food, being able to play both Scrounger and Officer and Renovate would be nice, but yeah, it's not, it's looking like that's not going to happen, so we'll definitely take three wood because there's a good amount of need for wood in this game. And especially with sawmill, we, we need a ton of wood ourselves. Um, yeah, so we do want to play Scrounger here to get the two stone for sure. Um, so oh, Chet takes the three wood. Interesting. Um, maybe he wants to build a stable. But, yeah, he didn't particularly need that wood. I guess it's a two-point action, and it puts pressure on other people, so it's fine. But, um, yeah, so here I'll take reeds done food. We'll probably take four food now that that's gone. I guess we could also take a crop. Either one is fine. Um...
I could have considered taking the six clay there, uh, but yeah, okay, Goddess Girl is gonna be start playing. She'd be fine with either Plowso or Family Grow, I think, but she would definitely prefer Family Grow. Um, assumedly gonna Cooking Hearth here with the renovation. Um, so the nutritionist does work on Plowso as well. It's a strong card. Yeah, I definitely think Chet should take the sixth clay here on it on its own. Even if you don't use the room to family grow, uh, it's a two point action. It does make it a little bit harder to go to stone, but there seems to be plenty of stone in this game that I don't think that will be a worry for him. Um, and then when you add in the fact that he probably will be able to family grow with room with the extra room, uh, it's definitely worth it. But he chooses to Taking the stone, not sure what this is about. Maybe he's gonna buy an oven, but he doesn't particularly need food. Um, yeah, that's curious. Um. I think we can wheel this for food. I think Goddess Girl is more interested in either Reno Cooking Hearth or getting a grain off Day Labor. So I'll just make sure we can get our Auk down. Um, yeah, so it should be two stone. Add a point to our Mastermind. Um, I don't believe I paid the food. One second. Uh, oops. Did I? So. Um, yeah, we didn't pay our food. Oh, hi, in Flemis. Uh, so this game is, um, I, I wouldn't say it's super like Ticket to Ride. Um, Agricola is a Euro game, uh, so it's kind of similar to Ticket to Ride in that it functions on the same mechanics of like resource management. Uh, but the actual gameplay is very different. So the basics of Agricola, if you're not at all familiar with it, is uh, each player has a farm and um, their goal is to uh, slowly build up their farm by doing things like plowing fields, uh, fencing and accumulating animals, uh, and whoever has the prettiest and highest scoring farm at the end will win. Um, but the gameplay operates on this board, which is uh, a bunch of spaces that you can put uh, peeps or workers on, uh, and you go around in order, taking actions. Um, so a lot of the game is trying to figure out what actions other people will take, uh, and what actions you want to take, and then going towards the highest priority actions, and you gain an advantage if you're able to um, take more efficient actions than other people. Um, and you can also, over time, grow your family and get more workers by building rooms and then using this space family grow, which allows you to add a peep if you have room in your house for it. Um, it it's a great game. I would definitely recommend it. Um, this interface isn't super easy to understand if you've never played the game before, but if you're a fan of board games, I would definitely recommend uh, trying out Agricola. Um, so... 
Mercator plays Lumber, which turns his stone into three wood, which we will try to find a way to use this game because we definitely want uh, all the wood we can get. Um, oh, yeah, my last action was going to be food. Uh, I'll eat a wood and a clay for five food. And feed eight. Um, so basically all I really need to do right now is get wood. Um, I'll start player lumber if it comes to me because I want a family grow to get the restless father field and because family grow is just great. I do need some crops, but I'm not super worried about crops this game. Um, Looks like Plazo flipped for Goddess Girl, so she'll be um, sewing another veggie. Um, Chet did end up taking the six clay because it floated forever, so fine for us. We will need a clay grab at some point, so... If Mercator gets greedy and tries to float the clay forever, I'll pick it up, but I'm not going to take it super aggressively. Um, like I said, I'll start play first action. I really want Family Girl without room. It gives us a point. Allows us to turn a stone to do a point off birthstone and gives us a field for a restless father on top of it just being an excellent action. Three points and gives us an action and 14. Um, I could consider playing officer this round if I renovate just to... So it'd be spending three food for two actions, but I don't think that's worth it. Given in round 13 and 14, the actions aren't super valuable. The last action you're taking is going to be pretty weak. Um, and we need food for Hyde Farmer, so it's likely we, one of those actions would probably be taking food anyways. Um, Mercator Plows, sure. We start player with Lumber here. good for gossip or goddess girl she's gonna get plowso again which is excellent with soil nutritionist um as possible i should have taken four wood and tried to wheel start player because four wood's definitely not gonna wheel this time i don't think but um i think the start player is important enough that we just have to take it Oh, we also shouldn't do that, at least if we're not taking reedstone food, because um, I want to be paying a stone on my family and girl for birthstone. 
I also probably want to wait to renovate till round 14 because reno fence is probably going to be great for us. Um, got a scroll taking readstone food. Not sure why. Maybe she's going to try to build another room. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's possible she's just trying to build another room, but who knows. Oh, she could also just be setting up her scrounger points. Chip fencing in order to hold more animals makes sense. There's some good animal grabs out there. I have to imagine Mercator's taking four wood, but he might take four clay. Um, got a scroll day labor for a grain last action, I have to imagine. So we could take four clay and then try to float the wood. Because taking the clay makes um, Mercator's life very difficult. Interesting. It looks like Chet has a plow. That's why he took the three wood last round. Yeah, leaving three wood in your supply makes me think plow. Um, Mercator doesn't mess around with the clay, so we get four wood, which is good. Um, we need to start taking crops at some point, but um, I definitely want all the wood I can get. So I'll probably take a veggie and take a three wood. Goddess Girl took stone instead of day laboring for a grain. I'm very surprised by that. Um, I think taking a grain was great. Uh, it would allow her to sow an extra grain because she should know I'm plow family growing and she's getting plow sow here. And renovating to... All these actions to renovate for stone are just not at all point efficient, especially with how much pressure there is on stone this game, or on renovations this game. So right now there's um, three renovations that are definitely happening this game. Um, wow, Mercator major miners. Mercator might not be made, renovating this game then. That's very... Very strange. I guess Mercator is struggling to feed otherwise. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so I could take three wooden fence here. I think I like that. Um, I probably don't. I, I might even get three boars. Second action. So yeah. I, I, oh no. Fencing is blocked. Um, yeah. This is... Very complicated. Mercator's probably taking animals here, I imagine. That's what makes the most sense with the fireplace buy. Um... I can take more wood. Yeah, there's, like, no pressure on crops. Nobody's ever taken grain or veggie. So, like, I could get four wood first action next round. Or second action next round. But I'd rather fence second action and possibly get one of the animals. Um, Chet did play a plow. And, and didn't mention that, but he played crooked plow. So, um, he'll definitely be plowing first action yeah, so I think there's a chance I can wheel at least one pair of animals. Um, birthstone.
Um, so I, I need to be careful with renovation. Um, hopefully Goddess Girl will renovate this round, but if she does not, um, if she like takes starting player, then I could be in trouble when it comes to um, the, what's it called? the renovations, um, I, I would have to renovate this round, basically. Um, I will definitely fence second action. Chet might take two cows here, but yeah, I, I didn't think you would mess around. Um, yeah, so there's a good chance we get some kind of animals back to us if we fence, assuming Mercator doesn't fence here, which I, he, he definitely might, because I'm sure he's also interested in all these animals. Start player for Mercator, excellent for us, means we're going second next round, Flat Hill, uh, excellent for Mercator giving him a four points, essentially. Um, here we, for sure, fence seven, 12. Um, so with us playing Hide Farmer, plowing isn't good for us anymore. Um, we don't have enough crops that we need extra room for crops, um, and plowing doesn't cover an unused farmyard space, so it's essentially only a point and a food. Um, and, like, we can use food this game, but we don't need it so bad that we're gonna prioritize plow, especially when plowing's one of the main ways that Mercator and Goddess Girl get points. Goddess Girl renovating with prize squash, so great for her. She's gonna get three. Um, she will probably get all four points with this, maybe even five. Um, I forgot this was in the game. It's excellent for her. Um, but, yeah, I, I think we we just have this game sealed between all our bonus points. We have so many bonus points coming. Um, here, I will take animals. Um, wow, Chet taking boar instead of cows. One second. Yep. I'm going to do an errand. I'm going to pick up some more. Sorry about that. Um, so, Chet taking the boar over cows. Bad for us because we wanted executive boar. I think he just needed the food though, but he could eat a ton of sheep. Yeah, I'm confused by that. Um, yeah, we really wanted to play executive boar, so that's unfortunate for us. Um, yeah, hmm, so we're not going to have an improvement to play on our renovation because Gimlet's definitely not going to be worth points for us. Um, I also need to take a play knock here, I think, because... We want to be able to play both Ox next round. Um, I guess I can take a boar, and um, I if Chet Reno fences, which I don't think he will, I could take a boar and um, just to executive boar it away. Uh, yeah, feeding is going to be very tough for us. Uh, but yeah, we, we have to play 
stone curator here, I think. Um, so, food, 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 feed nine. Wood, feed nine, wood to stone. Um, yeah, we might not be able to play hide farmer. I don't think we'll have enough food. Well, we could take executive four. So it gives you three food. So executive boar into start player. Now that's just a three food action. That doesn't do us any good. Um, yeah, so Chet actually could definitely consider if there's no good improvement for him, um, taking uh, what's it called? taking wood and then fencing one on rhino fence. Um, yeah. I guess I'm glad Jet took the boars over the cows because Mercator took the sheep, so Mercator would have taken the boars anyways if they were there. Um, Um, looks like Mercator also had to play Nox. I'm glad we got one out of the way. Oh, no. Our renovation's getting blocked. That's super lame. Oh no, it's not. Mercator Star Player. Chet's renovation is getting blocked. That's awful for Chet. Um, luckily, he can just take wood and scrounge, but uh, yeah. that That's going to be a total bummer for him. Um, so, renovation, reedstone food, and clay are definitely some of our actions. And then. Um, so we'll have three food for sawmill. We will have two food for clay. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. So then we need a three food. Yeah, renovation is six points for us, so we definitely can't give up on it. Um, yeah, Mercator being pretty pretty rude here with this renovator, surprising, um, surprising Chet. Very glad Mercator took Star Player to do that because if. Cheddar got a scroll or start player, we'd be in tons of trouble. Um, so there's no improvement we can play. Um, we also need a wood grab. So reads on food, clay, wood, three food, I think have to be our actions. So we're not going to get to use Hide Farm in this game, unfortunately, but we'll be fine. I, I think we'll get there. Um, got a scroll getting to Plowso three times is great for her. Um, yeah, I don't know. Mercator might have us this game. He also has tons of points for cards, and he actually has crops. Um, um, I think I'll take six wood first. It's the most 
um, if it comes back. It, it's the only action that like really ups her points. Oh, I guess check in stone oven, so that's fine. Um, Well, that's not great because he he wants to he should want to scrounge, so that means he'll have to take clay again to get scrounger points. Um, I think it might have been better for him to take six wood and build two stables, but he has plenty of actions, so I guess he'll be fine taking clay at some point. Um, Mercator will want to read stone food, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess Reedstone food is pretty important for us. Mercator plowing rather than family growing. Maybe maybe he needs the food, I guess. Taking the reed. Um, yeah, there's no way Mercator takes wood and takes Reedstone food. Goddess Girl has nothing, doesn't need Reedstone food. Chet doesn't need Reedstone food. So, yeah. I think the Reedstone food is safe. It'll be a bit of a train wreck if it gets taken, but we'll survive. Yeah, so our actions will be he reached on food, clay, and three food. Hopefully we get four clay, because that's one more point for us. But um, it's definitely not the end of the world if we don't. Um, I guess we have to think about is if Scrounger is worth it. Um, so what else are we doing? If, if we take two two-point actions... No, Scrounger's definitely worth it, because we need the clay to feed. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious what Chet will do. Chet will want to go for scrounger points. Um, he needs a cow though. He'll probably take a cow here. Trinket collector. So, um, two point action. That's fine for him. Maybe three if he can take a, if he has something else for starting player, but yeah, perfectly fine. I guess he thinks that nobody's taking a cow and I think he's correct in that. Really? Where did the wood come from? Oh, ship Thatcher's helper. That's extremely unfortunate. I, I forgot that that was there. Hmm. All right, so now we're, we're struggling because we needed that food. And that was three points. Um, so now we need to take three, two, three foods. Don't need clay. Um, 
that's a big bummer. Um, we have a million two-point actions, so... Um, I guess we can take a boar and then executive boar is an option to block star player from somebody. So I think a boar is the best um, two-point action. And then we go three food. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's extremely annoying. Yeah, we, we got punished there. We definitely should have taken Reedstone food. I forgot all about the Thatcher's helper wood. So how much did that cost us getting blocked? Because taking the six wood only gained us one point, and it looks like we might have floated the six wood. I think Chet probably would have taken it, but um, there's definitely a chance that nobody took the six wood. Um, so basically it, has, it makes us take a garbage action in three food, so... We would have two more. Uh, okay, now I need fishing. My like my life depends on fishing. So hopefully we get it. Uh, or while well, both fishing and traveling players, maybe taking the boar was risky. Maybe we should have just taken three food, three food. Um, so Scrounger, we would be down two points for Boar, but we would be up one point for Clay and three points, so it cost us two points. Um, Jet so baking for a point, we take three food. Um, eat a wood. So our final, we breed a cow and then, um, oh, I don't know what this means. So score. Um, looks like there's fences somewhere on here where they shouldn't be. I don't know. I don't know what that outside fences means. Um... Yeah, so we only have 29 plus 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and sawmill is 6 points, so, so we have 12, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 17, so 17 plus 29, 46. Right.
Yep, so a bit of a bad round at the end there, getting blocked. Um, looks like Goddess Girl... Oh, um, Goddess Girl also had 48, so yeah. Price Quatch really coming in clutch for Goddess Girl. Just crazy amounts of points. Um... All right, thank you all for watching. Um, very close scores in this game. Uh, congrats to Goddess Girl and Mercator. I um, think I could have tied for the win if I played a bit tighter at the end. Um, if somebody took the six wood, we would have been one point short, and Chet might have because his other actions for points ended up being pretty bad. Um, so he might have taken the wood to build stables and to open up scrounger points. But um, if we would have wheeled the six wood, we could have tied for the win. So um, you live and you learn. Uh, we also never were able to play hide farmer. We didn't couldn't get enough food, and that would have been great for us. So um, a lot of interesting things going on there at the end. But thank you all for watching. I will stream I, I might stream tomorrow um and i will probably be making some content on my youtube uh other than gameplay content i think i'm gonna try out making some videos that are more talking about strategy and talking about cards so be on the lookout for those and i will see you guys next time